Hey coin collectors, Dan the Collecting Man here. Today I'm doing all things unicorn. So I just recently received two unicorn coins. So I thought I might go through those in one video and just talk about uh, the coins individually and what I think about these coins. So this one here is the the Royal Tudor Beast, uh, one uh, two ounce, sorry, uh, unicorn. So this is a, definitely a pretty cool, cool one to have. So it's a nice chunky, coin this one's got the king on the back there from the royal mint in the uk so this one's definitely uh one to have as part of that series so this is the fifth one in the series that have come out so far and i always like collecting coins from series especially these ones so it's not as good as the queen's beast i don't think but it's definitely um a good series to have and i always like collecting the two ounce ones so uh good size and good thickness to have so the key thing for this one is it's powerful and pure. Uh, that's one of the key hallmarks of this unicorn coin. So it's the Seymour unicorn. So it's one of the key emblems for the Tudor beast. Uh, so and they've had, the first one was the Lion of England. Uh, there's a Seymour panther. Uh, the Yale, so this one here, I've got the Yale of Borford. So that's a pretty cool one. And then we've got this one here, which is the Bull of Clarence. So I've got three of them so far. I'm definitely going to be getting the Seymour Panther and the Lion of England uh, this year so I can have the set and then any more that come out, I'll be definitely collecting those. But I know definitely um, my daughter, she's pretty keen to get this one because uh, she likes anything unicorn based. So I think it's uh, pretty neat. I'd love to know if anyone else is collecting this series and think it's a pretty unique series to have out of the Royal Mint. So it looks like there's a couple of scratches on the actual uh, case. Uh, I think she's already been getting at it and playing with it already. As you can see, there's definitely been a few scratches, but it's only on the case, so that's not so bad. So it doesn't bother me. But I think they're pretty cool. You can definitely feel that that two ounce in these coins. You can definitely feel the weight of it. Um, and I love having these. Uh, these kind of series i've been getting all the different ones from australia as well the different types of series but uh, i think that's pretty unique and definitely cool uh, a lot of good detail on that so you can definitely see the way they've done that coin uh, with all the detail in it uh, there it just looks looks really cool um, and you can definitely see the difference there with the queen on the back versus the king uh, there's a bit of a difference there but overall they've kept the similar design on that so i've got two now with the king and there, there's three with the queen so it'd be pretty cool to have uh part of that series having the cross crossover of effigies so the next one that, I, that i've got is this one here that uh scottsdale mint uh this is a one ounce coin uh this is the unicorn for 2023 so this has had a very low mintage of only 2000 so it's definitely something that's um pretty cool and low minted to have so there's three different designs for this so that three different colors so you had the blossom which is this colored one here uh you had that aurea which is a purple one and jubilee which is pink so naturally i got the colored one because i think that's going to be the more collectible one and obviously my daughter definitely uh, preferred this one as well from a, a color standpoint so i really like it how they come on these cards definitely a lot of color in this one and I really love the Odverse here, the way they've done the effigy here. We've got the Republic of uh, Ghana, and it's a five credals uh, with Queen Elizabeth there, 2023, uh, three nine fine silver, one troy ounce. And you can see around the edge here on this black rim, it has the actual number. So this is 551 of 2000. So it gives the actual number. So it's got a serial number there. Uh, and it gives you the colored unicorn blossom uh, one troy ounce so that's pretty unique and it's got a special uh, anti lock there so obviously once you pull it apart you can't put it back together so that helps uh, anyone making copies of these so i do like the scottsdale mint versions they, they this is the second one i don't know if it's a series but the second one that they've done before so in 2022 they did the mermaid princess uh, of the sea so that one I'm looking to also obtain as well. So I think it's really important to have the kids very young, excited about having these kind of silver coins as part of their collection. So obviously she likes it from a collecting point of view. She's already got the baby uh, Year of the Dragon out of the Perth Mint. 
so this is something she'll probably proudly put in a room she knows not to play with it which is the key thing she knows that they're very special and quite valuable so this one I think it was roughly just under a hundred dollars but I think uh, over time especially the colored version I think will definitely be uh, a lot more collectible and if it is the start of a series at least it's some of the the new ones as well uh, you can definitely see all the stars and everything else kind of glistens uh, with the reflecting in there so it's really really cool thing so let me know if you've been collecting any of these uh, for your kids or for yourself. Do you think they're, they're definitely something to obtain? Do you like the unicorns? Uh, I know kids like the unicorns from a fantasy point of view. Uh, so I think it's pretty pretty unique. Um, what do you think the, these ones are just a bit of a hit and miss, bit of a fun thing as well. So one thing I will note is the way they've done the coloring. Uh, I don't know if we can see it there. I'd say from a quality point of view, it's not as good. It doesn't come out, out as nice compared to maybe a Perth Mint or another Mint where they've really, really got the color. It kind of looks almost faded on there. So I don't think it's as pronounced as I would have liked. I definitely think the rest of the coin is really, really spot on. Uh, but just the way that they've done the coloring kind of, um, I'd say it loses a little bit of that quality there, but definitely the rest of the coin has definitely come out really, really nice. So do you like any of the Scott Style Mints uh, special release series that they have? Uh, is that something that you've been collecting or looking to collect? I do like the Scott Style Bars personally. That's something that I'm really collecting and I really like having some of the recent ones. So this is one of the Scott Style Bars that I got not long ago. So it's really, really cool. I like this design. I think it's uh, really, really cool. And just the way it goes off in the light there, you can just see it just absolutely pops out in the light. So. This is uh, one, so Scottsdale Mint for me do do some really, really cool stuff. So I love that. Uh, from a Royal UK point of view, they do some pretty good stuff. Uh, as long as it doesn't milk spot, that's the main, uh, probably biggest concern that I have when it comes to anything out of the UK, looking out for those milk spots. Um, but apart from that, they're, they're pretty cool. You can definitely see a lot of scratches on these uh, cases. Uh, that's what happens when you leave it out for the kids to get to. So, Please uh, don't forget to click that subscribe if you're not subscribed to my videos already. Uh, I've released roughly three videos a week, so hopefully they add a lot of value and information for the coin collectors out there in the community. Thanks so much for watching and joining the coin collecting community. I'll see you on my next video. Dan. <laughs>